This film is intended for adult audiences. Your discretion is strongly advised. We are imagined by a nine-year-old child faced with an impossible choice. Mr. Nobody, 2009, starring Jared Leto as Nemo Nobody, seemingly the last mortal man on Earth who recounts his disjointed life story as an old man. Can you tell me how old you are? I'm 34. I was born February 9th, 1975. With an intriguing blend of drama, <laughs> romance, I want you. I want you to forever. And science fiction. What brings you to Mars? I'm measuring the distance between Mars and Earth at its greatest. I study time. You know, thing that makes it so that everything doesn't happen at once. And? The big crunch will happen in 2092, and people can Hang on that long, we'll get a free run. Belgian director Jaco van Dormel weaves a visually striking meditation on the roads we choose, those we don't, and the consequences we face. So Nemo, if you made up your mind, you want to come with me? Or do you want to stay with you? Top 5 Pros Stunning Visuals Every frame is a potential masterpiece, from vibrant color palettes to dreamlike sequences. This movie is pure eye candy for those who appreciate artistic cinematography. This is Jim Marshall, live from New New York Hospital. Hmm, where we're going to see the final episode in our series, The Last Mortals. Mr. Nobody is 117 years old, and he has not been telomerized, nor does he have one of those marvelous stem cell compatible pigs. Hmm. Live on WWB, Mr. Nobody will be the last man on Earth to die of old age. Mr. Nobody. The last mortal. The last mortal. Now, Doctor, no trace of his identity has been found in the national records. Nothing about his past. We don't know who Mr. Nobody is. Neither does he. Our patient's memories are confused. But it is not unusual at a certain stage of illness for very old memories to re-emerge in great detail. Ambitious narrative. The film cleverly explores the concept of infinite possibilities by branching Nemo's life into multiple timelines. Hi, Nemo. This makes for a challenging and rewarding viewing experience that lingers long after it ends. For as much as Anna and I all have consented together in holy wedlock, and the question is the same for 
God and his company, for as much as the league and Nemo have consented together in holy wedlock, Gene and Nemo have joined themselves to each other. I pronounce that they be husband and wife together. Those whom God has joined together, let no one miss her. Compelling music. The soundtrack perfectly complements the film's ethereal tone, adding depth to the emotional highs and lows of Nemo's journey. It's a musical score worth listening to even outside of the movie. Well, I can tell you how we met. It was meant to be. Have you heard of the butterfly effect? Every day it's a getting closer. My mother told me to pick the very best one, and you are it. Jared Leto's performance. Leto delivers a nuanced and powerful performance as Nemo, portraying the character at many different life stages. His commitment to the role is fully evident on screen. That's not me. Me. I wear shorts. I'm nine years old. I could run faster than the train. I can't feel my aching back anymore. I'm 15. I'm 15. And I'm in love. I'm in love. Thoughtful themes. Questions of free will, existentialism, and the ephemeral nature of love are intricately woven throughout the film. You gonna swim? Despite its fantastical elements, it inspires genuine contemplation about our own choices and their potential consequences. Come swim with us, they're my friends, come on. They're idiots. I don't go swimming with idiots. Jerk. You gonna swim? Come on, the water's nice. No, uh... I don't know how to swim. Sorry? I don't know how to swim. That's it. Please don't tell anyone. Mm. Hey, aren't you gonna swim? No, I've got my period. I'm gonna stay here. Keep Top five cons. Convoluted plot. The nonlinear narrative and multiple storylines can be incredibly confusing and disorienting. 
The film's labyrinth in nature may linger on you even after multiple viewings. What's wrong? Why are you looking at me like that? Why are you looking at me like that? Nemo, do I take sugar in my coffee? Can you please answer me? Nemo, you don't know me, Nemo. You've never really looked at me. You've always been elsewhere. Do you realize how much you've hurt me? Style over substance. While visually breathtaking, some might argue that the film's form overshadows its emotional core. Call me at this number. Character development and personal connections can feel less impactful than the dazzling visuals and mind-bending concepts. I'll meet you at the lighthouse. Not for everyone. Who's that? Ultimately, Mr. Nobody is a divisive film. It might be hailed as a masterpiece by some and pretentious nonsense by others. Its experimental nature is its greatest strength but limits its appeal. This is not a popcorn flick to watch idly. Mr. Nobody demands full concentration and mental effort to unpack its intricacies. You can leave me alone, you know. I, I, I can manage. It's no problem, Dad. I like being at home. <laughs> Ambiguous messaging. While the film tackles profound philosophical themes, its messaging can come across as ambiguous or muddled, leaving room for interpretation. While this is one of the strengths of the film, it may also frustrate some viewers seeking clarity. It's me, Jean. Who's Elise? I don't know anyone called Elise. Go back and play, Paul. Nemo, do I matter to you? I just... I just like to ask you one question. Did you do it on purpose? I found this on the bedside table. There comes a time in life when everything seems narrow. Choices have been made. I can only continue on. I know myself like the back of my hand. I can predict my every reaction. Everything is predictable. My life has been cast in cement with airbags and seat belts. I've controlled everything. I've done everything to reach this point, and now that I'm here, I'm f***ing bored. The hardest thing is knowing whether I'm still alive. my handwriting. I don't remember. Jean? Did you say? weird dream pacing and duration dilemma mr nobody occasionally suffers from a lengthy runtime and slow pacing in certain parts which may challenge the patience of some viewers what's wrong i was dreaming about stefano 
He doesn't give a damn about me. Stefano. I love him. While the film's intricate narrative warrants the thorough exploration, its extended duration and leisurely pacing might make it a daunting watch for those seeking a more brisk cinematic experience. I know I'm crazy. Every morning when I wake up, I open my eyes and I see your face and I start crying. I realize I'm with you and my life is passing me by. How can you stay so calm? How can you bear that? You're not human. I don't know what to do. It's not my fault, right? You're not gonna leave me, are you? No, no, no I couldn't live without you. Rating 8 out of 10, Mr. Nobody will mesmerize you with its visually striking scenes. What did I do to deserve this? engaging intellect and immersive storytelling, inviting contemplation on existence well beyond the final credits. While its complexity may be challenging for some viewers, its intricate narrative and emotionally resonant performances make it a worthwhile cinematic experience. This film is especially recommended to avid viewers who enjoy movies like The Fountain, Cloud Atlas, or Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind.